Hello friends, welcome to Shiva Academy. This video series is mainly to address the questions and the comments that I am receiving through mail or in the comment section. As a continuation of that, here is another interesting question. So the question is, does truncate table statement resets the identity column value or not? So before proceeding with the value, let us quickly understand what is the identity column means. So basically identity column is a database feature which every database provides using the identity column feature we can populate the column automatically basically identity column will help us to provide auto increment feature that is we don't have to explicitly populate the value for that column instead whenever we populate the value for other columns of the table this specific identity columns will get automatically populated so in oracle to specify the identity column we need to give a keyword called identity as part of the column definition okay to understand more about identity column i would suggest you to watch this video okay now let us proceed with our question like does truncate table statement resets the identity column value or not so basically what we are going to do is i'm going to show you a small example where i'm going to create first a table with an identity column so in this case uh, i'm creating a table with two column id and name so id column i'm just making it as a identity column after creating this table i'm going to populate the name with three values like ravi jeevan and ragu when you populate the name column the id column will get automatically populated starting from one like one two three third step what i'm going to do i'm going to truncate the table obviously when we issue the truncate table statement all the rows will be truncated now we are going to insert two more values like Scott and Jim. So now the question is, will that identity column will restart from four or will it restart from one? So this is the question. So this behavior we are going to see in two different databases, like one in Oracle and another in SQL Server. Let's start with this behavior in Oracle database. Since I have already created the table, let me first drop this. Now the table is dropped. Okay. Now let me create the table. So as you can see here, I'm creating a table called T and two column. One is like ID and another column is name. ID column, I'm just making it as an identity column. For more information about the syntax and the functionality, I would suggest you to watch the video mentioned in the description. Okay. Now what we will do, we will insert three values. So you can see here, I'm not populating the value explicitly for the ID column. I'm populating only for the name column. So I'm inserting three names like Ravi, Jeevan, and Rahu. Let me first insert these two, these three values, like all three rows are inserted. So now let us commit the data. Now informations are committed. Now let's just query the data. So as expected, we will be able to see three values like Ravi, G1 and Rahu. We inserted only the value for the name column. The ID column is automatically populated. And the value for these column is automatically provided by the database server. So that is why this is called identity column. Fine. Now let us truncate this table. As expected, the truncate table will clear all the contents of the table. Now let us query back from the table. So now I'm querying back from the table. As you can see here, all the informations are truncated. Right now, as a fourth step, let us insert two more names into the table, Scott and James. Right, I have inserted. Now let us query from the table. Now the question is, will the ID column will start from one or will it start from four? Okay, in Oracle, it will start from four. In Oracle, the truncate table statement will not reset the identity column. However, this behavior is not the same in all the other relational databases. For that, we'll see how the similar logic or the exactly the same identity column functionality works in SQL Server. Now let us see how this functionality behave in SQL Server. Now let us redo the same four steps in SQL Server database. I've connected to a user called dev user in SQL Server database. Since I have already created the table, let me first drop this table T. Now the table is dropped. Now let me create a table called T, okay, with two column ID and name, exactly same steps what we performed in Oracle database. So ID column, I'm making it as identity column and then name column. So let me just create this table T. Now the table is created. Let us first query from the table. Obviously no data will be uh, available in this table. 
because just now we have created and we haven't inserted any data. Now we will insert three values for the name column like Ravi, Jeevan and Rahu exactly the same step the way we did in Oracle databases. All three rows are inserted. Now let us query back from the table. Select star from T. Now we can see uh, we are able to see like Ravi, Jeevan and Raghu and the ID column is automatically populated by the SQL server. It starts with one and for the third row it inserted the three. Okay, now let us perform a truncate table statement. Truncate table T as expected this would remove all the entries from the table. Let us query from the table now. Select star from T. As expected there is no data. Okay, now let us perform the fourth step. I'm going to insert two values for the name column that is Scott and James. Let us execute this insert statement. Yes, insert is completed. Now let us query from the table. Select star from T. Now in SQL Server, if you see, it is not restarting the ID column from four. Instead, it restarts from one. So in SQL Server, by default, it will not start from the last value. Instead, it will start, instead the identity column will start from the very first value. Let's see both the Oracle database behavior and the SQL Server database side by side. Yeah, now here you can see in Oracle database, a truncate table statement actually will not reset the identity column. It starts from the very last value because already we have inserted till three. So the subsequent insert will insert from four and five. However, in SQL Server, the truncate table statement will reset the identity column and any subsequent insert into the other rows will start populating the value starting from the very first value. If you want any questions to be answered, you can post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail ID. But before that, please check whether your question has already been answered as part of the subscriber question series or as part of the interview question series. If you are not able to find your question here, please write back to me. I'll be happy to record and post as a new video. Subscribe and stay tuned for new future video, interview question, SQL practical question and concept videos. And thanks a lot for watching this video.